For me, living nature means to overcome the traditional separation between the technical world on the one hand and the living, the growing world on the other hand. My name is Ferdinand Ludwig. I'm an architect in the field of Baubotanik, which means that I create buildings out of living trees. Baubotanik is a German term we came up with to describe a quite new field of architecture and research, which is based on a traditional approach to construct with the branches, the trunks and the roots of trees. What we see here is the plain tree cube Nagold, the biggest Baubotanik structure we realized so far. In 2012, we had the chance to make this building in the context of a horticultural show here. It was really groundbreaking for us because it gained a lot of international recognition. The Plain Tree Cube is a three-story building that we constructed out of more than 1,000 young trees. In the future, these trees will fuse to one organism. If you try to really build a construction with a living tree, you somehow have to tell the tree that he has to grow into a structure, right? So what we basically do in the field of Barbotanic, we are connecting the trunks of trees in a way that they merge to one, like into an artificial tree framework. Once the tree structure has gained a certain stability, we will step by step begin to remove all the vertical steel elements. For example, here we have the 2024, which is a year where we're supposed to be able to remove this column. The chances for Barbotanic for sure are the possibility to really fuse the ecological and aesthetic potential of trees with the building. So for architects now the tree becomes a kind of material where you can work with, where you can design with. All these benefits like shading and cooling, but also the atmospheric aspects like the shades and the sound of the leaves become part of our constructed world. Our work was featured in the publication Biodesign by the Museum of Modern Art New York. And in this book, a broad view of different aspects of new approaches to deal with the combination of living nature and technology is shown. And I see a lot of possibilities for a wood manufacturer like Egger to use all these approaches to come to new products more based on biological processes than on chemical or technical ones. For the future, I have the wish that we will find more clients that are brave enough to take the risk to really deal with the uncertainties of nature in our project and to see this not only as a problem of the living world.